This is the newly launched electric bike from Collar Industries named as Purecell FB family electric bike. How is this electric bike? Let's explore in this video. Namaste, I am Krishna Jitanya Mandela, your EV bro. Firstly, if you look at the design of this electric bike, you might have seen similar kind of design in the market. Might be the company take some of the references and take the similar kind of design electric bike. At the front side, you can get an LED headlamp and turn light indicators, telescopic suspension, 18 inch tubeless tire along with disc braking action. And the rear side, you will get a 16 inch tubeless tire and the motor they are using is 4 kilowatt BLDC hub motor and with this motor you can get a top speed of 85 km per hour and the rear side you will get dual spring suspension even the dual spring suspension action is well tuned for Indian road conditions for the rate there is a pillion rest and also for the rider also there is a rest here the foot pegs this is the side stand and this is the center stand but you don't get any sensor for this side stand with this electric bike you can expect the ground clearance around 170 millimeters and this is where the battery pack is kept the battery pack capacity is 4.2 kilowatt hour lfp battery pack and on a single charge you can get up to 120 kilometers of range which it can be possible in the first mode and this is the rear side you can get yellow lights for the rear side and this is the mud guard and this is the sun reflector and the seat length is okay for two Two riders for the rider and the pillion rider comfortable cushion is offering with this electric bike this is where the charging port is one tap the charging port will open here you can keep the charger the charging time is five to six hours this is the led light switch this is the turn light indicator switch this is the emergency switch and this is the horn switch and the you will get a usb port here where you can charge your mobile phone this is the ride mode switches first mode second mode and third mode and this is the low beam and high beam switches this is the parking mode button and this is the reverse mode button this is the key you will get with this electric bike this is for the awning the bike and this is for the removing the seat and this is for the remote key option remotely you can on this electric bike just by double pressing the power button here this is how the dashboard will on and if you want to unlock this just press this unlock button once and if you want to go in the anti-theft alarm mode, you need to press the lock button. And if someone try to steal this bike, the bike will produce an alarm sound. To get back to the normal mode, you need to press the unlock button here. This is how you need to use the remote key features. And you can on this electric bike even with the key also. Just keep the key inside and turn to the right side. Here is the battery percentage indications. And this is the voltage. This is the odometer reading. This is a trip meter reading, different ride modes, when I toggle, you can see second mode and first mode and this is the speedometer reading. If you want to go to the reverse mode, here is the R button, you need to press the R button and then the dashboard will turn into the R. Now you give the throttle, then the bike will move to the backward side. So this is how you need to operate this bike. So now let's go for a ride on this uh, Puracell and check how is the performance. I am initially riding this bike in the first mode. The top speed is reaching up to 52 km per hour in the first mode. So the pickup levels are very decent. Now I am shifting to second mode. In the second mode I reach a top speed of up to 65 km per hour. And uh, the pickup levels are somewhat better than the initial mode, the first mode. And finally in the third mode, the company offered up to 85 km per hour. So you can reach up to 85 km per hour, but due to the road conditions are right now, I am unable to reach the top speed. But the motor capacity, what they are claiming up to 4 kW, you can get the top speed of 85 km per hour. If you talk about the pickup levels of this bike, so you don't find much difference between the three modes, whatever the first mode, the second mode and the third mode. Up to that speed limit, it reaches the same pickup level. So the motor, what are the BLDC motor doing the work job well. Now next thing is about the controlling. Once you come close to the bike, you feel so comfortable riding this bike. You don't find any kind of uh, uh, jerks unless until if you ride this bike in a slow and steady pace. You just need to give instant throttle, then you find, then you don't find any kind of jerks in this bike. And the next thing it's about the seat comfort. The good part about Puracell bike is the comfort. Even if you ride uh, for for a distance commuting, so you find more comfortable riding this bike. Especially the cushion of this bike definitely matches your comfortable needs. And this is the front brake action. It is sharp, and it is a rear brake action. 
and this is a braking action if you press both brakes simultaneously so overall the whatever the disc braking they are offering it is pretty much sharp and uh, the action levels are good and what i found a small improvement about this bike the dashboard uh, visibility i feel it can be slightly improved it is okay but if it it, it can be more better if they can if you can improve the brightness of the dashboard and this is a horn now let us check the performance of a uh, tyrasil bike in different road conditions especially in the pothole conditions you can see how the road is it is completely rough if you go with the normal speed beyond 15 km per hour you can easily handle this bike and also you don't find any kind of discomfort the suspension is well tuned in how much tune in the rear suspension similarly the tune in also you can expect in the front telescopic suspension as well along with the suspension the seat cushion both are balancing the rider comfort you can slightly apply the brake slowly then you can slowly give the acceleration then you don't find any kind of discomfort even the bike weight also adds some stability the good part is so usually the ev bikes in most of the bikes either they are too heavy or else too much weight too much light weight but this bike weight is in the medium level even if you ride in the different road conditions that weight also adding some kind of uh, pressure on the suspension so it is moving downwards and giving comfort upwards that is how it is managing so slow and steady you don't find any kind of uh, issues over the suspension and also the bike performing well and i don't find much skid also here after my complete ride experience what i feel about the positives of this electric bike even if you go with this electric bike with a top speed of around 65 km per hour the stability is very well you don't find any kind of imbalancing in this bike that is one positive point and the next thing is about the suspension front telescopic suspension and the rear dual spring suspension are well tuned in for the indian road conditions and the next thing it's about the range even though the company claiming the 120 km of real range in the eco mode but the top speed is up to 50 to 55 km per hour but in case if you go with the speed of around 25 to 30 km per hour speed only you can get even up to 140 km of range because of the battery pack capacity is 4.2 kWh and another thing in this electric bike segment this is the only bike to have lfp battery pack most of the companies offering only nmc chemistry battery pack so even the battery expert says that lfp battery pack offer better safety when compared with nmc chemistry and finally the price of this electric bike is 140000 rupees the company is offering 3 years or 50000 kilometers warranty for the battery pack anybody interested to buy this electric bike we will provide the contact details in the screen and also in the description below if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ev bro charge the nature drive the future